Howdy folks, I hope you're all well and as always thank you very much for tuning in. Well I don't know about you but it's pretty rubbish weather outside today here in the UK and to me that's a good opportunity to test budget binoculars because on a nice bright day they all give a nice bright image but on a dull day this is where some of the budget options come, fall a bit short. So today we're going to have a look at the Viking Badger 8x32 and these retail at just under £100 and so that they are in the, in the starter range and picking these up first of all they do feel very light and obviously to keep costs down that these will be polycarbonate rather than a mag, al mag alloy body but they are waterproof and uh, just running through the specs you've got uh, 477 grams 13.6 millimeters eye relief and I found that wasn't quite long enough to use with spectacles on min focus around about two and a half meters and I, I did test that and I'll come on to that shortly that that's about accurate and the field of view is 7.16 degrees so at uh, this uh, just 477 grams obviously these are very light binoculars and they balance nicely in the hands very easy to handle and the attachments here for your strap they don't really dig into your hands at all when you use them the the focuser again with with mass produced budget binocular like this that you will often find that some of the parts are quite generic as, as is this focus wheel it's uh, not nice and easy to use probably not as smooth as the kestrels and the merlins for example which can make it a little bit more tricky to use uh, single-handed and the eye cups and I've got these twisted out halfway. They will come out a little bit further, but I found without glasses on, have them about halfway. And uh, again, with a lot of generic parts, you, you might find that these cups are used on other similar binoculars. And so, so you've just got to experiment really as to which setting is right for you. I found about halfway. And while I've got looking at the eye cups, I've, I've not actually tested this yet. So we'll just do the test to see how they stay in place. So that's fully twisted out and I'll try to push it in now without twisting them. That's using a lot of force, they are not budging, so very very well constructed uh, eye cups there, considering they are a budget set of binoculars. They are, I believe, uh, multi-coated optics, let me just check that, rather than fully multi-coated, yes, multi-coated and BAK4 prisms, which uh, will not be dielectric coated at this price, but it all helps to keep the price down. So uh, let's just have a quick look at the accessories you get with it. So you get the pretty much standard white case there that you get with Vikings and as with all the Viking cases um, from the Badger upwards, although I've not tested the Otters yet, they're very very solid cases these, very nice indeed. And you get uh, a, a, a basic but very functional nylon case, uh, no belt loop but it, do, it does have a strap that, that's currently on the inside out, out of camera. You get a very nice padded strap so no cutting corners with the strap and the usual all-in-one for the eye pieces and the drop down or removable for the objective lens and it also comes with um, a, a, nice, a rather nice microfiber cleaning cloth um, can't think where I've put it. Can anybody spot it? It's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Silly me. It's around about nine times nine inches, this microfiber cloth. And it's probably the nicest, not only visually, but in size wise, nicest microfiber cloth I've ever, I've ever known in, with a stock set of binoculars. I don't know if it's exclusive with this set or whether it's something that Viking are starting to gradually introduced with, with all their options. I, I guess I'll find out that as, as I uh, test more binoculars. Diopter adjustment, very easy to use, not too tight, not too loose, so it's easy to use but stays nicely in place. Uh, I did test the close focus looking at a rather wet robin just outside my back door just now eating its mealworms, not looking very happy but it appreciated the meal. And it was very, very nice detail close up for such a budget binoculars. And so looking out at the usual rooftops and uh, chimney tops and birds in branches looking for chromatic aberration. Yes, there is, even in the centre of the view, some evident purple colour fringing on high contrast subjects. But then again, moving away to your low contrast subjects, 
you won't notice it at all. But the amount, it's it's the purple colour fringe in it, it's rather than a har harsh edge to it, it's 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 it just like blends in. It's difficult to explain really, but it's not a harsh false colour. It's it's very, very manageable and a lot of people are not even going to notice it. There, there is a little bit of uh, evident pin cushion distortion and there's probably more fall off in quality towards the edges compared to the Viking Kestrels and the Navigo for example but they're twice the price and so for, for under £100 um, uh, very very good and you can't grumble obviously low light conditions I was very very impressed I was looking into some dark shadows and you could pick out uh, quite a bit of detail again not as much detail as the higher price ones but remember this is below £100 and um, I believe the warranty with these is five five years with these and um, I'm assuming that comes off to put a tripod adapter on although I've not tested it yet but overall very very nice set of binoculars some good strong, strong rubber armoured here uh, uses polycarbonate materials but it certainly doesn't feel cheap at all and a very very nice binocular to look at and use ideal for the beginner so as always thank you very much for watching Please check out the link in the description below where you can purchase these from us and uh, we'll see you next time.